You ready? That's ready? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, adequate notice of this April the 12th, 2018 meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act by posting written notice and agenda of this meeting on the bulletin board in the Municipal Building 1000 Route 10 Township of Hanover and by hand delivering, <coughs> mailing, or faxing such notice and agenda to the following newspapers. Morris County's Daily Record, the Star Ledger, Hanover Eagle, and by filing same with the Township Clerk. I have a roll call, please. Committee Man Gallagher. Here. Committee Man for Armasco. Here. Committee Man the Halco. Here. Committee Man Cahill. Here. And Mayor Francioli. Thank you, Joseph. Five members in attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Remain standing for a prayer afterwards. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, John. Almighty God, we ask that you bless this governing body with an abundance of wisdom and understanding so that every deliberation will result in actions which will promote the common good and the general welfare for all the people of Hanover Township. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Hey, gentlemen, at this time, I'd like a motion to open the floor to the public. Make so moved. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the floor is open. Anyone who would like to address the Township Committee for any items not appearing on the agenda may do so uh, from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. Good evening. Um, Good evening. Rocco Sino, 69 Countrywood Drive. Um, I'm here uh, as well as some of my neighbors to talk about some of the recent issues that we've had with the water company and the water pressure. Uh, I don't know if the committee is going to go into more detail. We don't really want to get into the detail about it tonight, but on behalf of the many neighbors that I've been in contact with over the past few weeks, we wanted to formally go on record that we were very dissatisfied with the recent decision they made to switch um, the format in which we were getting our water uh, and really the poor advanced communication that they provided because it did have an adverse effect on many, many homes. Um, I have here a copy of a letter that was, I could submit, I made copies if you'd like. Sure. The administrator will take it. This is a uh, letter that was sent around to homes in our neighborhood about two months ago. Um, and it says that they were going to be upgrading the water system in our area. It's very vague, didn't explain the reasons for it. But what was more concerning is when it says what to expect, it told us that we may experience minimal changes in water pressure. Minimal changes in water pressure and or discolored water for a short period of time, for a short period of time where these observations may be observed. Well, it turned out that it, it could have been much, much longer than a short period of time. Um, so once we started to notice the drop in pressure, which averaged about 20 PSI per resident, um, we started to complain to the water company, to the town committee members. And to their credit, to their credit, the executive director, the engineer, and the superintendent at the water company were all very responsive to each one of us. Each of us emailed them, called them, they responded to us. They actually had us in to have individual meetings. They spent an hour with me, they spent an hour with DJ, they spent an hour with Steve Pleshy. A lot of valuable time was spent when we appreciated that. They gave us graphs, they gave us information, they told us the reasons why they made the changes, which we didn't agree with, but they gave us information. Um, and we appreciated that and we respect that they did that. And in the end, in the end, we're glad that they decided to switch back to the pump house to give us back the pressure that we enjoyed for so many years, 40 years. Um, and there's going to be a backup system put in place um, that's going to provide the security that they were looking for. So in the end, it's going to be a win-win situation. And we also are here to thank the committee members um, the certain, you know, the committee members who were behind us from the beginning that took this matter seriously, and for certain board members of the water company that really um, took this matter seriously, without their pressure put on the water company, I don't know that we would have had the resolution that we did. Uh, and finally, I want to thank the neighbors in our community. We all stick together. 
when someone wrongs us, we don't, you know, we, we're very respectful. We don't yell. We don't curse. We um, are, try to be very professional. We try to be informed. We organize, and then we're and we're very vocal. And in all that, we were able to get some positive change. Um, so we hope we're here today to you know go on record, and to hope that this town committee recognizes that and can appreciate uh, the efforts that we made. And we hope that we never have to cross this bridge again. Thank you. Thank you, Rocco. We appreciate it. I, th I think uh, speaking for the members of the committee, I think uh, we appreciate the the manner in which uh, the uh, neighbors uh, approach this and getting out to and reaching out to the water company and uh, trying to get the uh, a resol uh, explanation and resolution of it. Uh, sp speaking for this committee and myself, uh, I, I just expressed some disappointment that this all began or had to happen. In other words, if uh, uh, this change was to happen, and this happened after an event that we had in Thanksgiving Day. Um, uh, without any additional uh, comment to this township committee or input from this township committee, the water company, and by the way, they were fully within their rights to do it, went ahead and instituted a gravity feed plan, uh, the nature of which was to ensure a water supply, and, and properly so, for our community and the region. Uh, but I do disagree with the one in the manner in which it was handled and that we should have been alerted to the fact that this was going to happen and not to find out uh, after the fact that it did happen and then that there were consequences for it. So from that standpoint, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, now, we do have two representatives, uh, actually three, uh, on the water company, uh, Adolf Schimp and, uh, as well as uh, Sally Anacone and Mike Mahalko, our liaison from the township committee to the water company. Um, and, and I appreciate everyone's effort in, in trying to get this resolved and uh, appreciate uh, uh, Mr. Iannacone's effort. I understand he was quite vocal and um, maybe, maybe sometimes, sometimes that's what it takes. But uh, we've always appreciated uh, uh, Mr. Iannacone and Sal's experience as a uh, professional engineer. Uh, and he, he, he brought logic to it and I, I think the resolution is a smart one. Uh, so our understanding for the record, uh, and Michael, you can correct me, is that you're going to re, uh, why don't you explain, you're yeah, going to so re-initiate re or re reactivate the... Yeah, I, I don't want to go over it too, too much. We know what happened. The, the pump went down. We were without service. This is back on Thanksgiving. The water department reacted by switching to a gravity feed, which would almost eliminate that issue from happening again. That happening, you know, once that happened, though, there was a reduction, a 20 PSI reduction in pressure. Now, if you had 80 PSI and you went to 60, you probably hardly, hardly noticed it. If you had 50 and you went to 30, well, you, were, uh, you, you noticed it because you're talking almost a 50% drop. Um, so my opinion was that I, don't th I think they underestimated how much of a drop there would be, uh, but that's my opinion. Um, they have... The, the situation was very fluid. They were coming up with several different options on how to correct it. Uh, again, thank you all for coming forward and letting us know. I live on the other side of town. I did not know, I was not aware of the problem. Um, but once you guys stepped up, voiced your opinion and got it going, uh, I think they did come up with an ad adequate solution. <coughs> Pardon me. What they're doing is they're putting the pump back online similar to what you had before. So whatever your pressure was, if your pressure was at 50, it should go back to 50. If it was at 40, it should go back to 40. But what the added benefit to this new system will be, uh, the way it was explained to us, is there were two, um, two valves that will allow water into the system, but not allow the water to go back out. So the pressure, the pump will go back online, build the pressure up. If the pump goes out, God forbid we have another issue with the pump going out again, pump goes out, now that gravity feed will fill back in. You'll be at the pressure that you're at today, but that will be a temporary solution. That will be a temporary issue until that pump comes back online. Your next question is, when are these valves going to be put into place? Now, again, Mr. Anacone beat them up pretty good. Uh, and if I have not heard otherwise so far, they said four to six weeks uh, before those are in place. They're going to do everything to expedite it. Um, I'm hoping it's... It, I believe it's to be a true four to six weeks. I'm hoping it'll be done sooner. Um, 
the added benefit to this, and I wasn't aware of it, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, uh, was uh, there's going to be an additional flow, an additional volume of water, which will help out in our fire suppression. God forbid there's a fire up in that area. There'll be an additional flow of water that can get uh, accessed at any time if needed. Um, so it, it's been a bit of a struggle, but I think the end result is going to be a better system uh, and a safer system. Whether it was known or not known that we had, there was adequate, but barely. And now we're sure that there'll be plenty of water in the future if there is a fire and they do need to, you know, pull from the lines. Um, if you do have any questions, anybody uh, in the future, call the, call the, call the water department, uh, ask myself, ask um, any of the gentlemen in the audience too, they can also fill you in, they've been at the meetings, but feel free to reach out to us and I'll be more than happy to explain in more detail if needed. And, and again, the water company, in their defense, um, was very gracious to talk to anyone, to come out to site when requested, to, to do pressure checks and, uh, and make adjustments and, and suggestions at that point. Thank you. Uh, anyone else would like to address the committee at this time? Seeing none. Hearing none. Motion to close. I'll move. Second. Mr. Administrator. Okay, we have the approval of the Township Committee regular minutes of March 22nd, 2018. Mm -hmm. We have a motion for approval. So moved. Second. Motion <coughs> and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So approved. We have one item of communication. It's dated April 10th, 2018. It's addressed to the Honorable Ronald F. Francioli. It says, Dear Mayor Francioli, effective at 12, uh, 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 12th, 2018, I hereby resign my position as police officer with the Township of Hanover. Respectfully, Jason Jones. As in keeping with the Township Committee's policy, what may we have a motion to accept so the moved. letter of resignation. We have a motion. Second. Second. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Furumaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Aye. And Mayor Francioli. Aye. The letter is so uh, accepted and approved by the Township Committee. We have the following departmental reports which are available uh, for public inspection. Uh, they include the reports of the Chief of Police for all activities um, conducted by the Department during February 2018. We have a report from the Township uh, Engineer dated March 22nd on the status of all capital projects. Uh, we have the Treasurer's report as of uh, March 13th on the summary of um, tax collections and revenues. The Township Superintendent of Public Works, Buildings and Grounds and Park Maintenance has submitted his reports for all activities and projects conducted during the month of March. The construction official has submitted his reports for the months of um, February and March. And we also have another report from the superintendent on all the activities conducted by the Public Works Department in March. And um, finally, we have the report of the Township's Property Maintenance Officer on all activities conducted during the month of March. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue with the agenda, we have three ordinances for consideration of adoption and public hearing. The first is docketed as ordinance number 6-2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee amending and supplementing section 125-4 entitled Recreation Department Fees under chapter 125 of the Code of the Township entitled Fees with the inclusion of new fees related to various recreation and park administration department programs. We have the um, notification from the daily record that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the March 28th issue of the daily record. So at this time, may we have a motion to convene the public hearing? So moved. So moved by Mr. Gallagher. Second, Second by uh, Mr. Uh, Faramaska. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill yes. and Mr. Francioli. Aye. Is there anyone present wishing to be heard concerning ordinance number 6-2018?
Seeing none, hearing none, may we have a motion to close the public so hearing. Moved. So moved Second. by Mr. Faramaska, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Now, the vote on adoption, be it resolved in an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover, amending and supplementing uh, Chapter uh, 125, Section 125-4, entitled Recreation Department Fees, under Chapter 125 of the Code of the Township, entitled Fees, with the inclusion of new fees related to various recreation and park administration department programs, be passed on final reading, and that a notice of the final ordinance be published in the April 18th issue of the Daily Record. May we now have a motion for adoption. Motion. Second. Right, motion by Mr. Cahill, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call for adoption. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So adopted. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ordinance number 7-2018 is an ordinance authorizing the execution of a lease agreement with the Hanover Township Boy Scouts of America Incorporated, Boy Scout Troops 40 and 155 in operating the Bee Meadow Park Brickyard Concession Stand on July 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th, 2018, during the Township's live vocal concerts. We have the proof of publication that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the March 28th issue of the Daily Record in accordance with law. At this time, may we have a motion to convene the public hearing. So moved. So moved by Mr. Francioli, seconded by Mr. Mahalko. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Yes. Is there anyone in chambers wishing to be heard concerning ordinance number 7-2018? Seeing none, hearing none, may we have a motion now to close the public so hearing. Moved. So Second. moved by Mr. Faramaska, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call to close the public hearing. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Now, uh, the motion on adoption. Be it resolved in an ordinance entitled an ordinance authorizing the execution of a lease agreement with the Hanover Township Boy Scouts of America Incorporated, Boy Scout Troops 155, and um, also 40 in operating the Bee Meadow Park Brickyard Concession Stand on July 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th, 2018, during the Township's live vocal concerts, be passed on final reading, and that a notice of the final passage of the ordinance be published in the April 18th issue of the Daily Record, pursuant to law. May we now have a motion on adoption. Make a motion. I have a motion Thank by you, Mr. Mahalko, seconded by Mr. Cahill. And now on roll call for adoption, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So adopted by the Township Committee. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, now we continue with the third uh, ordinance for consideration of adoption and public hearing. It's docketed as ordinance number 8-2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover, amending and supplementing ordinance number 8-2017 and chapter 61 of the Code of the Township, entitled Salaries and Compensation Personnel Policies, which chapter establishes regulations and rates of compensation for the officers and full-time and part-time civilian non-union employees of the Township of Hanover. We have the proof of publication that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the March 28th issue of the Daily Record in accordance with the law. May we now have a motion to convene the public hearing. So moved. Have a motion by Mr. Mahalko, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Is there anyone in chambers wishing to be heard concerning Ordinance 8-2018? Seeing none, hearing none, may we have a motion to close the public so hearing. We have a motion by Mr. Faramaska, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. 
On roll call to close the public hearing, Mr. Gallagher, Aye. Mr. Ferramosca, Aye. Mr. Mahalko, yes. Mr. Cahill, yes. and Mr. Francie Elwood. Aye. Now on adoption, be it resolved in an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Committee authorizing the execution. I'm sorry, wrong one. Be it resolved in an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover amending and supplementing ordinance number 8-2017 in chapter 61 of the Code of the Township entitled Salaries and Compensation, Personnel Policies, which chapter establishes regulations and rates of compensation for the officers and employees, full-time and part-time civilian, non-union non employees of the Township, be read by title on second reading. Um, I'm sorry. We have a problem with the computer. Be, ad be adopted at this time uh, on the closing, uh, and that a notice of the final passage of the ordinance be published in the April 18th issue of the Morris County Daily Record. May we now have a motion for adoption. So moved. We have a motion by Mr. Gallagher. Second. Second by Mr. Cahill on adoption. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramoska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. And just on the correction, that was ordinance number 8-2018. We just had a transposition of titles into the ordinance. 8-2018. Right. Okay, as we continue, ladies and gentlemen, we have two ordinances for introduction. <coughs> This first one is uh, docketed, as, uh, docketed as ordinance number 9-2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover, amending and supplementing Chapter 166 of the Code of the Township, entitled Land Use and Development Legislation, by amending certain provisions concerning fences and walls located in the front yard. This ordinance will be further considered for public hearing and final passage at the Township Committee meeting on May 10th at 8.30 p.m. here in the May meeting room at the Municipal Building. And at that time, any person wishing to be heard concerning the ordinance will be given the opportunity to speak. It is further resolved that the Administrator Clerk be authorized and directed to publish the ordinance in full with a notice of introduction in the daily record pursuant to law. May we now have a motion on introduction. So move for introduction. So move by Mr. From Moscow, seconded by Mr. Francioli. On roll call for introduction, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Firm Moscow. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So introduced. Ordinance 10 2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee authorizing the purchase of one new 2019 Ford F-350 regular cab gas 4x4 pickup truck plus options from DFLM Incorporated uh, trading as Deichman Leming Lexington Ford pursuant to contract number 15C item 11 awarded by the Morris County Cooperative Pricing Council and further appropriating the sum of $40,000 from the 2018 Capital Improvement Fund in all prior years for financing the purchase of the pickup truck. And this is a replacement for a pickup truck that was involved in a motor vehicle accident uh, here in the township on Eden Lane on March 10th in which that vehicle was doing snow removal services on Eden Lane and unfortunately was hit from behind by another vehicle. So this new vehicle replaces the pickup truck that was totaled. The uh, ordinance authorizing this capital uh, improvement will be further considered for public hearing and final passage at the Township Committee meeting on the 10th of May at 8.30 p.m. And at that time, any person wishing to be heard concerning the ordinance will be given the opportunity to speak. The administrative clerk is further authorized and directed to publish the ordinance and the notice of introduction in the daily record in accordance with law. May we now have a motion for introduction. So, so moved. So moved by Mr. Francioli, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call for introduction, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramosca. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So introduced.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue now with the resolutions as a consent agenda, are there any questions from members of the governing body concerning <coughs> any of the consent agenda resolutions? Would they be approved? We have a motion by Mr. Faramaska. Second. Second by Mr. Cahill on roll call. Mr. Gallagher? Aye. Mr. Faramaska? Aye. Mr. Mahalko? Yes. Mr. Cahill? Yes. And Mr. Francioli? Aye. <coughs> so approved. As we continue, we have the payment of our bills. $5,377,668.28. So we have a motion Second. for approval by Mr. Francioli, seconded by Mr. Gallagher on roll call to pay our bills. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramasta. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Also, we have three raffle applications, also as a consent agenda. Are there any questions concerning any of the three raffle applications? Okay, seeing them, may we have a motion for approval? So moved. So moved by Mr. Francioli. Second. Second by Mr. Mahalko. On roll call, on approval of the three raffle applications. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So approved. Mr. Chairman, members of the Township Committee, that clears the agenda of the Business Administrator Township Clerk, and I thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Appreciate it. Uh, gentlemen, once again at this time, I'd like to open the floor. So Any moved. motion to open? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. Anyone who would like to address the Township Committee on uh, any of the ordinances or activities of tonight, please do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. <clears throat> Seeing none, motion to close. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Gentlemen. Okay. Uh, at this time, with other business from the Township Committee, I'll go for some committee reports or comments, and I'll start with Committeeman Gallagher. Thanks, Ron. <clears throat> Just a couple uh, quick ones tonight. Tuesday night I went to a program at Whippany Park High School called Share the Keys. And it was for all our juniors or any of our students that are going to be getting their driver's license. They went over um, driving safety. They went over uh, distracted driving, which is appropriate because of what we have going on now with our grant. They talked about the parking permits and the privilege of getting a parking permit and respecting the neighborhoods in and around our schools with the driving, which is... It dovetails nicely with our school and park traffic safety, which I serve on with Brian Cahill. So it was a great program. There's surveys in here. They had The parents had to sign a contract with each other, with their children. It was a really nice event. Sergeant Carpenter did it, which was also appropriate because he showed a picture of his vehicle that was destroyed and we could have lost Sergeant Carpenter that night because of distracted and drunk driving. So they also talked about drugs uh, and alcohol and especially texting because when we were little there was no texting it was just listening to the radio and how loud it was going to be so these children have a lot of different challenges than we do and i'm glad that hanover township pd and our schools are all over so they did a great job it was a great program i have the book if you guys want to look through it when we go back into conference room a uh there's going to be a cabaret i've heard about this for years and years and now i'm in the middle of it because i'm uh, cultural arts but it's going to be um april 18th I printed it out, but for some reason it didn't come out too big. I think my daughter set my printer a little bit differently than I'm used to. But it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I know a lot of people have gone to it before. Again, it's April uh, 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. And I just want to say, too, the DPW is still cleaning up from the storm. They've been doing a lot of tree work, a lot of chipping, a lot of picking up of the bundles. And I see some of our baseball guys here tonight. They're working on the fields for all our spring sports. Uh, they're doing an incredible job. They're already fixing potholes because we're hoping that that's it for the salting and the plowing and we're hoping that we're going to start to get things on track with some of our road paving also shortly because of this weather coming up. Mm. Uh, I also want to say working closely with some of our guys in baseball, uh, our drug coalition is going to be working this year with the rec and baseball in at the opening day parade, which Committee Member Mahalko is going to talk about soon. We're going to be offering a free photo ID to any family member that wants one in Hanover Township. It's a really good device. A lot of the kids are now keeping them in their phone cases. But for instance, it'll have their parents' cell phone number, their address, and what to do. God forbid they do have an emergency, and uh, that's necessary to have on them. More and more the kids are wanting them, and we're trying to work hard to provide them with that service. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that um, for the fourth year, we're going to have a big night out at Whippany Park High School. We wanted to make it bigger and better than ever. We're always shooting for the moon with some of these things. 
But Mr. Palumbo and Mr. Kelly asked if we could work with them to celebrate 50 years of excellence with the high schools, with the Hanover Park Regional. So we're going to get together and we're going to put together an incredible event. And we're going to announce the date shortly. It's going to be in June. And what's good about working on something like this with the schools is that they do the legwork to find out that there's not a lot of conflict. Because how many times have we put together an event and we found out there's four different things going on that night? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a big night. We're going to build on what we've done before. And the last thing I'll say, Ron, is that we're working closely with Committee Member Halco to put together our two big pool nights. So we have a lot coming up in Hanover Township in the next couple months. That's, That's it. Good. That's great. Thanks. That's great. I'm glad to hear the return of the photo ID cards. Uh, it was done some time ago, and then for, for whatever reason, uh, uh, we didn't pick up on that program for a little bit. Uh, but now to hear that you guys are uh, activating that program again with, is it a photo ID? Kind you, you, of thing? you know what's nice about it, Ron, is the chief of the Morris County Parks Police is a Hanover Township guy. And uh, they upgrade every couple of years with their, their technology because we know how fast technology changes. And when we talked about finding ours and dusting it off, he goes, get out of here. I'll come provide it. So well, that's great. It, it's great. It's, and you know what? We're, they're going to be there as long as we want. We just have to, if it's nice out, maybe we'll do it outside. Maybe we won't do it inside. Maybe we'll go right in the middle of everybody and we'll really promote it. Then we'll do a couple hundred of them. They said they're bringing huge boxes of them. We'll do them all day long. No, that was, that was a super plan. Matter of fact, it was accepted at an airport that I went through as well. Was it really? A, back in those, they had a photo ID was signed by the police chief, and it was actually accepted at the airport. So good idea. Deputy Mayor. Spring is finally here, and really? I hope it stays with us. <laughs> with the coming of spring comes the repaving of the roads. Roads, the Township Committee continues to invest in the infrastructure within Hanover Township. The township has 80 miles of roads, 60 miles of those roads are within the jurisdictions of the municipality, the balance being that of the county. We've been doing what's called the road master plan now for this will be our, our sixth year and the following roads are planned for repaving. Valley Forge Drive, East Fairchild Place, Cross Road, portions of Locust from Apple Tree to Orchard, Thonis, Shamrock, Woodfield, speed tables to calm traffic on Orchard and Prospect Place. And last, and certainly not least, is North Jefferson Road to include a connectivity trail portion. North Jefferson Road will kick off our road paving project um, this, this season and hopefully it will be done during the month of May. Secondly, I'd like to bring to the attention of an event from the Environmental Commission and Green Teams. It's the Free Shred Bay Program. It's a popular program within town. It takes place on April 21st at Employment Horizons on Ridgedale Avenue. It's from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. So please participate in Shred Day. Come early to Shred Day and then you can participate in something Mr. Mahalko will speak about. That'll be happening a little bit later on the 21st. Uh, and lastly, um, this is a, a public service message for our Knights of Columbus in Hanover Township. They are doing a special fun drive for the Mentally Challenge uh, this weekend, so please be generous. Tootsie Roll Drive. Tootsie Roll Drive Tootsie as Roll well. Drive. Yeah, that's great. Very good. Very good. Son of a gun. Mimi Cahill, how are we doing? Very good, very good. Uh, I want to start with uh, something that Ace touched on around the Share of the Keys program, and that's one of the important things that we need to teach our young drivers about uh, the importance of distracted driving. Um, so on that, uh, some, some troubling facts around that. Um, it, between 2011 and 2015, in New Jersey alone, there were 804,000 motor vehicle accidents attributed to distracted driving. Uh, because of this latest trend, the actually the, the contributing factor of driving inattention for the cause of crashes is nine times higher than the next uh, reason for a crash, which is speeding. We know, you know, which traditionally was uh, a major cause. So this is a big deal. Uh, I, I bring this up because there's a program going on during the month of April. It's called You Drive, You Text, You Pay. Uh, it's a distracted driving campaign. Uh, the, the purpose of it is, is to basically be a high visibility enforcement campaign. Uh, the program is sponsored by the state. Uh, there was an item on our agenda accepting $6,600 in grant money uh, to uh, provide for additional enforcement, additional patrolmen on the road 
uh, for the duration of this program. So the duration uh, started on April 1st, and it's going to come to its conclusion on April 21st. Uh, next on my report is the Hanover Sewage Authority. Um, actually, April 21st is going to be a very busy day. Yeah. So, on April 21st, for the first time in quite a few <laughs> years, the Hanover Township uh, uh, Sewage Authority will be holding an open house at their treatment plant at 40 Troy Road in Whippany. Uh, it's going to go from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's basically an open house. There's nothing scheduled. Uh, if you want to see how the system and the infrastructure works, uh, stop by. There'll be displays. Uh, and there will also be some guided, you know, some guided group tours. Um, speaking also of the Hanover Sewage Authority, uh, just be aware that over the next two weeks, uh, they will be having various easements and parts of the collection system uh, surveyed. Uh, as a result, there will be some personnel walking along those easements. Uh, many of those easements uh, um, are located in, in backyards, uh, mine for example. Uh, so if you see somebody that looks like a you know a stranger, uh, it is a distinct possibility that they're that they're uh, going and making some reports on the easements. Uh, they will not be done by storage authority uh, personnel. It will be done by their contractor uh, engineering agency, which is uh, Mott McDonald. Um, so they should have IDs if there is any question, of course. Um, Unrelated to that, but also just as far as, you know, uh, things that we might see or observe over the next couple of weeks, uh, on or about April 14th, for a two-week period, JCP&L is going to be uh, expect inspecting their lines, and they do that with helicopters. So we'll see a number of helicopters. It's the Chesapeake Helicopter Company. They'll be flying low and moving slow. Um, don't be alarmed. It's uh, basically it's, it's something that's happened in the past. They're just inspecting their infrastructure. Okay, moving on to uh, Landmark Commission. We had a meeting last month. Um, one of the things that was discussed was uh, uh, one of the events that they've got coming up in October, and that is a celebration of the Whippany Burying Yard uh, Tricentennial. So Whippany Burying Yard, located on Route 10. Uh, the theme of the uh, get-together, it's going to be a brunch uh, called Old and New Families, celebratory brunch for the Tricentennial. Uh, it's going to occur on October 21st, good, so it's not April 21st, we're good there, uh, at the First Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church on Route 10. Uh, the event organizers, the Landmark Commission, they, they want to attract, uh, there are a lot of families still in town that have a very, very long history. Uh, they've, you know, they've been here for a long time, uh, many going back to colonial times, so they want to attract those and invite those family members to this celebration. Um, that's a ways off, we've got a little runway there, so I'll provide additional details uh, <coughs> as we get closer. Uh, but if you are interested in learning more about the Whippany Bearing Yard and some of the history there, uh, there was a great article in actually this week's Hanover Eagle uh, all about that, an interview with uh, uh, our chairman of the commission. Moving on to the Whippany Fire Co Company, uh, this past Sunday, April 8th, uh, they hosted a pancake breakfast fundraiser. This year the uh, venue was changed. Uh, typically they used to do it in Applebee's restaurant. Uh, this time we moved it to the Hanover uh, Township Community Center and the Knights of Columbus folks stepped up and graciously volunteered and did the cooking uh, while volunteer firemen uh, delivered the meals to people that came out. Uh, very, very successful. There were over 125 residents that attended, so uh, it was considered by uh, the fire company to be a great success. Uh, looking forward for the Whippany Fire Company, they've got their 5K walk coming up. Uh, it takes place on May 6th. Registration will be for at uh, 7.30 a.m. at B Meadow Park on Reynolds Avenue in Whippany. Race time begins at 8.30, followed by awards at 9.45. Uh, you can also register at the WhippanyFireCompany.com and get more details and information around that. So I'll mention that as well as we get closer, closer to May. Lastly, uh, K-3 Faculty and Friends Concert. This is the uh, Memorial Junior School. This is a great, great tradition. I, I loved this when I was on the Board of Education. This is where teachers, administrators, community members, uh, they deliver musical performances, and this is to raise money for the Catherine Mosier Music Endowment. Um, it is very, very entertaining. I encourage you, if you haven't been to it, you should definitely attend. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of laughs. They just have a great time doing it. Uh, that's occurring on Wednesday, April 25th, 7 p.m., at the Scott R. Pepper Theater in Memorial Junior School. And that's my report. Thanks, Paul. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Raymond Mahalko, how are you doing? Doing well. <coughs> it's spring. Um, so actually, I believe the fields began opening up today. Um, yesterday. It, we, uh, yesterday. See, they didn't allow us on yesterday, so maybe you got lucky. Um, but please, coaches, uh, please heed. If the fields do get closed, 
do not go on them. You'll tear them up. There's a reason they closed them. But they are, as of now, they are open. Um, which brings us to opening day is next weekend, the 21st. Uh, that's for baseball and softball. Uh, what time are we stepping off? Is it 10 o'clock? Uh, we're going to step off 10 o'clock to try and get the kids there around 9.15 on Yeah, so, so the 9.15 nine, nine, nine children will start uh, over on Stony Brook, and then the step off will be at 10 o'clock, and then uh, all kinds of stuff going on from there. We have the ceremonies, we're going to have the uh, IDs being uh, taken, uh, and it's, it's a good time. It's a good time to come out and see the, see the kids, and uh, please come out and, and support them. Um, as always, we've got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm going to keep it short, but um, try to cut it down. The annual fishing contest was scheduled for, tomorrow, uh, for this Saturday. It was canceled. Do not show up this Saturday. Uh, because of all the uh, destruction from all the trees, oh. DPW is having trouble keeping up, or has been, they've been doing a lot of work. Uh, they just felt that the, the uh, Malapartis Pond and the field and, and the park was not ready to handle the people. Uh, so they asked, and we, we gladly agreed, to uh, postpone the annual fishing contest to Saturday, May 12th. Um, registration begins at 8 a.m., fishing starts at 9, and there's prizes for fishes, uh, you know, uh, the amount, the first fish cost, biggest fish, and there'll be other things going on. So that's that's always a fun event too. Um, just kind of an FYI, well, obviously it's too late. Tonight we had a trip to Charlie Brown's restaurant in the Paper Mill Play, has to see the sting. That was sold out right away. Um, bus load went, it was a, a good function that's going on right now. So unfortunately you missed, but keep your ears open. There's always stuff coming up. Kathy's there. Oh, okay. Kathy's there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, oh, always, Paper Mill always does a fantastic job down there. Um, Early registration for the Bee Meadow Pool closes tomorrow, Friday the 13th. Uh, so <laughs> does not mean that you cannot uh, register later, just the price goes up a little bit. So if you can, try to get your registrations in for tomorrow uh, for returning members. Um, and also camp registration. Camp registration opens up on Thursday, April 6th and April 28th on Saturday. Those you do need to do in, um, in person at the rec center. Um, Again, come on out, enjoy the, the facilities we have. We've got a lot of fun stuff going on. This is just a, a snapshot of what's happening. Check out the website, and you'll see that, again, it's, it's that time of the year. Baseball, softball, it's happening. Um, <coughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Mike. <coughs> Absolutely super, and there is a lot going on in town. There's no question about it. Uh, keeping up with all the events is amazing. Uh, this past Monday, uh, we want to thank uh, Barbara Davis from the uh, Morris Land Conservancy, uh, who put on for us at the library a uh, presentation on open space, uh, was nicely attended, and uh, Barbara Davis and the uh, Land Conservancy uh, are part of organizations that work with Hanover Township on land acquisitions. They've supported us on grants and they've been uh, doing a great deal on uh, uh, giving us uh, reports on lands and, uh, uh, again, supporting Hanover Township. In, in the open space program, so she's been terrific. Uh, we had an earlier program the week before, and I think Blaze, you did a great job. That was on COA, uh, Council of Affordable Housing. We're trying to get information out to people on some really good topics here through the library, and uh, that was also well attended. There are a lot of events coming up in the library in the future. Uh, we're going to try and keep you posted on that too, aside from everything that Michael's been giving you on recreation. Uh, so many of our other areas are, are, are just as busy. Uh, registration from the uh, Stony Brook Community Farm is open. Uh, of course, the ground still needs to thaw a little bit, but the, uh, the farm is ready. Uh, and uh, there are a great many gardens still available. So if you'd like to uh, uh, purchase a garden, lease a garden for a year, it's $25 for a 6 by 18 uh, piece of ground. Uh, and you can join us over at the farm there. You can do that through the <coughs> Recreation Department. Denise Brennan, I think, is taking registrations on, on the farm. So uh, that's happening there. Uh, as well, uh, the Railroad Museum, Saturday, the May 19th, is uh, going to have a Armed Forces Recognition Day. Uh, you can get tickets for this. Uh, it's the train is going to run from that uh, station uh, at uh, 12 noon, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. Uh, you can get uh, tickets online or you can stop there uh, at the museum. 
Uh, there will be a static display of military vehicles and cars, pretty, pretty extensive. Pretty cool. Uh, so uh, if you and the family want to come out for a nice Saturday afternoon on the 19th, I highly recommend that too as well uh, on that note. Um, any further business from uh, members of the committee? That's it. Okay, then the motion for adjourn. Motion adjourn. adjourn. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Adjourn. Thank you very much. Okay. <coughs> I'll continue. Hey, where's that number right in uh, hey, Sarah, hold on. I'll give you the printout. Hey, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. You got it, man. Thank you. What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. I'll send you an email. Just too many. Too many. We are exploring and looking at.